The first uh, balloon angioplasty procedure was performed uh, in 1977 by Andreas Renzik in Zurich. And this was, uh, everybody felt at that time that was the beginning, the start of the revolution in the uh, treatment of coronary artery disease. During this uh, uh, evolution from uh, the balloon to the bioreserve bubble scaffold, what you can say is, uh, and this is difficult particularly for a young generation, to understand that the result of the first balloon angioplasty was a uh, success rate of uh, 60%, failure was 40%, the risk to uh, send the patient to emergency or elective bypass surgery was 20 to 20%. Mortality rate was around five to six percent. That was the, the beginning of the story. Progressively, we increased the, the quality of the, the result with a, a dramatic uh, uh, reduction of the complication rate. Today, we can say that uh, with the last generation of drug irritating stent, the success rate is more than uh, 98 percent. Failure is less than one percent. <coughs> Stent thrombosis is less than 1% and restenosis rate is less than 10%, it's around 5%. So you could see the, this evolution, of course, in uh, 40 years, but it was a constant evolution with a up and down. But uh, finally, when we get an issue, we have the, 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 the solution to treat uh, this issue. And globally, we have uh, a progression and an improvement of the result uh, of uh, angioplasty procedure which is now really the major way to uh, perform myocardial revascularization. That's a present. 80% of the patients are revascularized by PCI and less than 20% by bypass surgery.